Hi, thought I'd put this little tip up for you and it's something that I've been musing over for a while and all of a sudden it came to me. Um, but uh, have a look at this and see. I want to insert a um, single row in, in this little line of data here on a Google spreadsheet. And to be honest, it's dead easy. You do click into that and then you right click and it says paste one above or paste one below. It's dead easy. And so if I paste one above, it will put in one above the row that I was looking at before. So let's just do Control Z and come back out of that. Now for sakes, if I want to try and put a number of rows in, either above or below this line, what I do is I click out and I click in again and then I highlight how many rows I want to put in. So one, two, three. I want to put five rows um, above this second line down, third line down. So what I do is now I right click and now you can see insert five above or five below. Now when I put five above it actually puts the rows above the first line that I highlighted. If I put five below it'll put five rows below the bottom line that I've highlighted. So let's just do five above and you can see I've put five rows above. Control Z, take it back. Turn right or click right. And then five rows be below will put in, he said. There you go. Five rows below. And it will put it at the bottom of the last row that I highlighted. Don't know why it froze there, but it did. So neat little tip for you. Uh, just highlighting the number of rows you want and then remembering where it will put those rows, either above the first line you've highlighted or the bottom line that you've highlighted. Hope this helps. Neat little trick. Cheers.